Hey guys, uh, okay, the image is um, Juan O'Savin on the left and uh, Nino Rodriguez on the right, and this is on Rumble. Now, I don't know if you can share anything uh, from Rumble onto YouTube and then get striked on YouTube um, if it's if this is from a Rumble account, because this is from a Rumble account. This is my Rose New Blueprint 4848 account, right? So I I was listening to these guys briefly and you know Juan likes to answer his his the questions extremely vaguely and he does not he talks in circles this is part of his strategy he's a major player apparently or he I don't know if he's, he seems like he is. He's sort of like the Benny, the Benny Keys of the of the Wells of the Summer Wells case. All of a sudden, Juan is there talking, 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 spinning, talking. Just like all of a sudden, Benny Keys is there talking, 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 spinning, talking, controlling the narrative, the thinking, the thoughts, the views, or trying really fucking hard to. So this guy, so they're in there talking about. General Michael Flynn and what's going on and what does Juan think of General Michael Flynn because these guys you know some of these guys were known to be very trusted and then all of a sudden they turn and then you find that part of the deep state well how is anybody not part of the deep state you know what I'm saying so I just want to play a section of this because I think it's really important listen there's a little adjustment that has to be made change the chessboard but so he says a little adjustment has to be made, made change, change of chess board. Just before this, he says that um, you have to switch, bait and switch, switch sides. He sort of acts like you've got to do a switch in order to keep playing type of thing. It's, in other words, you know, it's all just, I don't know. Anyway, I just this is the part I want you to hear. Just listen on. On this chess board, they go to a different board and make a move, move between the boards, isn't understanding how big. This is called infiltrating. I want to go back. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Conversation went down four times in the first day. The attacks are uh, intense. Is that a and beard? So okay, look, is this a beard on him? What is this white? Or is that just like an illusion? Because I can't, I don't think he's got that beard, but. I think it's kind of weird. It's a, look, doesn't it look like he's got this weird white beard? Or is that just, I don't know. These locations, and you'll remember back from the earlier Q conversations. Uh, Hold yeah. on, I'm going back even further. All right, cool. All right, yeah, guys, so he, you know, his projector voice is a little more bonito. All right. They keep saying they can't hear Juan, which is obviously bullshit. Why is Juan facing away? We've already seen his face. So why... Why does he go back to, unless he just feels comfortable, why does he go back to, like, the elusive hat and the boots and the mystery when we've already seen his face? I, I find that, I sort of get it, but I also think it's a little weird. Also, I'm all about f face. You know, this is my part of my attachment to Jimmy. It's like he's showing his face. And plus, that's a face that I goes back in my history. So and I and he's at the age where I missed out on seeing his face during, like, age all through the 40s, all through all through his 30s and 40s, because in that past life that I keep talking about, where he got stuck in the cave, and I had we had we got separated, and he had stayed in this big cave, and I went on miles and miles and miles and miles to this I don't know what to the city I think it was at like King Solomon era, and um, crazy as it sounds, n not my worry. Um, oh shit, who's outside? Oh god, it's just a huge snowstorm. Every everything is completely smothered. So anyway, um, oh, fuck. Sorry, lost my train of thought. Let's just get into this. All right, folks. So I'm going to take some questions uh, from the audience. Um, questions. Uh, it's, it was an interesting night last night. I got to meet some really good people. And I know that uh, I always say I'm going to take questions from the audience, and I haven't done it yet. So I'm doing it today, folks. I feel like I'm I doing it for you guys. On him or something. Uh, so that... Um, you guys can feel like you're heard. Because sometimes I feel like I don't ask the proper questions when I'm doing interviews with Juanito here. So he's they're asking me to ask you about McAfee. McAfee. Well, um, I just like Listen. with other projects, at times we've stopped and switched. 
stopped and switched. And, See, uh, removing target. Look. Just like with other projects, at times we've stopped and switched. Look, it's moving target. Uh, look, anybody who thinks that, uh, anybody who thinks this isn't a big deal is uh, stupid. And then, and then he'll pull the the big daddy thing. Oh, you got to act mature and you know, stop acting like children. And he, he pulls all these little tricks to control. You know, where we 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 see them, one daddy o. Truth Social got attacked yesterday. They went down almost immediately. See, he 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 changed the subject and talks about a YouTube channel being taken down. Their app thing when they first came out, uh, you know, with their conversation it went down four times in the first day. The attacks are uh, intense, and so any of these locations, and you'll remember back from the earlier Q conversations, Q. Uh, get massively attacked. Yeah, um, we know about that. See, people uh, always want to blame everything on YouTubers. It's like, give me a fucking break. Let's just get to the fucking facts. Stop stop making up this bullshit that everything is the fault of other people bashing and making up shit. Well, why don't you tell us the facts? If you don't want people making up shit, then tell us the truth. That's how you get people to stop making up shit. You, you tell the truth. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Huh. Dang. Well, at least he's dancing, I guess. Oh, what the hell? Holy shit. Uh, black Sun. So Was that little dancing Donald part of the Black Sun? I don't know. What does Juan say? Let's find out. I, 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 you, you say what needs to be said. No need to say anymore. What does that and mean? And we move the ball around the field. It's mm -hmm. rugby. Okay, well, okay. cop out, cop out. They ask you a question. What do you think of McAfee? He rambles on. You say what needs to be said? Hey, move on. Hey, you just get out of it. Who gives a shit about what the people sheep think? We don't give a shit about these stupid little sheep. Well, we're part of the elite, huh? Right, Juan? So, uh, uh, what? expect additional changes to happen before this is all over. All right, Our expect additional changes. What does that mean? What additional changes do you mean, man? Look at the way he poses. Don't you just love it? It's part of the game. You know, game. It's part of the... We're in a war. Hey. We're in a war, and this is part of the game. The capital G-A-M-E. Let's get into that. It thinks we're not in a war, or is it, it thinks this is just playtime. is isn't understanding. Oh, They're we must be stupid, because we don't understand that it's in a war. Right, Juan? Only you know how important this is, right, Juan? We're just little dummy heads wondering what you have to say about everything. Real stakes for the fate of the world. That's right. The real stakes are the fate of the planet, and we're not leaving. So what are you going to do? On the line. This is Casino Royale for planet Earth. Oh, is it? So when people get all stressed out that there's a little adjustment that has to be made, change a chessboard, make a move on this chessboard, they go to a different board. <coughs> You're changing chessboards? Is this why it seems like Donald Trump might have switched sides because of the change of chessboards? Is that why is that? Hmm. Gotta wonder. Move between the boards isn't understanding how big the stakes are for us. As a okay, who's us? All right. First of all, we do understand the stakes, okay? I get the stakes, fucker. I get the stakes. It's not about just planet Earth. It's about the whole goddamn multiverse. Who controls planet Earth controls the multiverse? Yeah. Okay, this is for the high-level beings who understand this shit. Dave, I know you understand this shit. And so does Jimmy when we clean him out and get him all detoxed. He will be clear on this too well as a planet expect additional changes why relax what do you mean all right guys can you hear yeah him? always relax get the popcorn let us handle it right elite juan guys give me a thumbs up if you heard him okay because i'm trying to i'm trying to we fucking heard him i'm dude. trying to rig this to where you guys can hear him you're rigging it yeah i think juan is okay. rigging good, it because he's good. a master right. manipulator let's go to the next Genius. question let's go to the next question yeah let's just skip ahead and go to the next question because yeah, we don't want to hear about players changing blackboard signs huh i guess the players are changing but i'm so goddamn rich who cares i can say whatever i fucking want just shut up and eat your popcorn let me handle it huh? all right so looking ass is Trump... Right, Benny? <laughs> Jeez, that was fast. I thought I slowed down the chat. <laughs> You're so All popular, right, uh, Nino. Damn. What does Juan think of Klaus Schwab? Mm-hmm. What does Juan 
What does... What does one think of Klaus Schwab's goal by 2026? Which is what? Okay, so I don't know what... I'm sure it's evil. I'm sure Klaus Schwab's evil goal by 2026 is evil for the humans and it's all about him controlling the world. But let's hear what Juan has to say with his slickness. Well, what goal? Yeah, what goal? There's so many goals. But you know he's like the goals? leader of like the... He's like the main guy in the globalist like ring, right? Okay, okay. Klaus Schwab just is pointed out as to be the leader, the big cheese whiz, the ole of the whole cabal. Is he the Pindar? Do you know what the Pindar is? P-I-N-D-A-R. The Pindar is the human that's in that, that that's the go-between between the people and the the reptilians or the Draco. Or whoever's running the fucking show is a different species. And if you can't get in, into the, the fact that aliens are real, you're so far behind. Like, let's not even, don't even bother with me. If you don't know aliens are real by now, you know, you're not going to follow me that well. I, I'm really here for my 48, my team of 48 that's supposed to I, I do a, a, a million each, guys. I know. Well, I keep, take, I keep getting taken down. I could have had 48 million by now. But I keep getting taken down so many times, I'm going to have to count on you 48ers. And I know there's way more than 48, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just going to be like, 48, get laughing. Klaus Schwab on the day of the eclipse in Antarctica. This is important. In Antarctica. Okay, right. Klaus Schwab on the day of the eclipse was in Antarctica. Antarctica. This matters because all the big wigs go to Antarctica. Why? Well, the people who have been down there have said it's it's um it's evil. It's basically the underworld. It's where it's it, it's where Satan and Lucifer rule. I mean, apparently it's really bad, and um, it's like horrible. And if you're not evil by nature, it's traumatizing, and. Um, the the world is apparently the the Anunnaki are living down there, and it's very tropical under the ice. And they covered up that location with all this ice to keep everybody out. And um, Antarctica is a big thing, and and um, under it's really look the 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 Draco, the hybrid race, the Anunnaki, the tall whites, all these different beings, mantids, all these different beings are secretly behind the scenes trying to rule earth. Why? Because everything hinges on earth. Because earth is the one is the is the planet that's sort of like got it all. I don't know. It's got every it's got the everlasting gold. But let's go back to Juan. These people are part of a cult. These people are part of a cult. The people running the world are part of a cult. This is according to Juan. This is where Juan starts talking truth. And this is why it's important to listen to him every now and then. Look at Nino's. Nino's got a, uh, is, that, is that the state of Texas? Or is that a roller skate? What, what is that? What is this? It looks like Texas or something. Anyway, let's go. A cult uh, uh, has a particular set of, you know, one of the things that drives me, Nuts. What, 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 we oh, we're worried about what drives you nuts? What about what drives us nuts, okay? What about what you do that drives us nuts, cabal, okay? We're asking you a question. It's not about, oh, are we driving you nuts? Okay, this is how we just, dis he has all the tricks in the book, you know? And the reason I'm not easy to manipulate, I might pretend I am, but I'm not because I was raised by mas master manipulators. And I know all about manipulators, okay? And it was a horrible, abusive experience, but terrible, terrible, terrible. It was terrible. It was full of terror, full of terror, terrible, terrorizing. But the thing is, I learned, because I survived it and didn't kill myself, I'm not going to kill myself, so nobody can use the suicide thing as an excuse. All the bullying in the world isn't going to make me kill myself, so no, I'm not going to kill myself. You can't, you can't kill me and pretend it was a suicide, okay? I mean, you can, and if I do commit suicide, it's your fault. But anyway, I just, the way Juan spins, but what he does do is he gets into these facts that I think are super important that we, the sheeple to people, need to understand. People get upset. Well, that's not what the Bible says. That's not what I believe. You know, when we talk about some of the, the beliefs of these people about beliefs. Eve and the devil and the Garden of Eden. 
Okay, these beliefs about Eve and the devil and the Garden of Eden. He really gets into the cabal's beliefs. This is important. We need to know our enemy, what they're doing, what drives them and who they are. In order to fight the enemy, you need to understand the enemy. Thus, the infiltration into the Anunnaki bloodline. Right, Jimmy? Excuse me. I've said it a thousand times. Oh, now you're all pissed off that you've said it a thousand times. Let's say, let's, let's hear what the 1,001th time is, Juan. What is it? It doesn't matter what you believe. We know this. It's what they believe. We know this, Juan. You don't actually have to repeat that again. We know this, okay? And if we don't, we're so fucking stupid, we don't deserve to live, okay? Talking about a religion. These people have a religion. And they operate accordingly. Belief is the driver of action. That's a fact. This is why we listen to him. He's describing them because he knows them. Okay, so listen. Belief is the driver of action. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, what they believe determines how they make their next move. So when you see him wherever an eclipse is over and over and over. What? That is this black sun. Black sun. Roman reign rule from, you know, way back when. Black sun, Roman reign rule. Okay. Janus, J-A-N-U-S, J-A-N-U-S, is the Roman two-faced god. The Greeks have the same damn god, Janus. He did not change his name. Anus. Uh, Janu. Janu. Anus. Anus. Ja Anus. I am Anus. I am Anu. I am asshole. What? Come on. Saturnist Baal Moloch religion. Saturnist Baal Moloch religion, okay? We got to write these words down. Roman Black Sun, Roman, Moloch, Baal. Okay, this is the important shit right here, okay? At work. At work. It so, doesn't matter what you believe is what they believe. This is, this is very important and true. It doesn't matter what we believe. We can say, ah, that's bullshit, ah, that's bullshit. Okay, that's stupid thinking. That is not what we're here to do. We are not here to... Be like, oh, I don't believe it, so therefore it ain't true. I'm just going to carry on with my life. No. You're going to learn what these motherfuckers are into, and you're going to help change it by raising your frequency in your human body and connecting with your brethren and sisterin, okay? He is one of the people in that crowd. He is one of the people in that crowd. And what about Hugh? What about Hugh, Juan? And so... Whatever timing he wants to talk about, look, today is a 23 day in their religion. I don't go by the... Okay, this is important. The 23 day. This is important. Listen. Numbers ...to run my life. But a lot of them do. He says, when... I don't use numbers to run my life, but a lot of them do. Gotta wonder. <laughs> You, you don't understand it's a religion. Well, how, how many people understand the intricacies of a number of religions out across the world? But it's their religion. They're raised with it. They're taught all these little teeny minutia. And then you try to understand it from the outside. Well, that doesn't make sense. Well, I don't understand. Okay, so they're raised in these religions and down to the top, the tiniest detail. And, and the details do matter. The devil's in the details. That's like a real fact. And um, that's why they use the numbers. See, the devil and the dark and the black sun and the Metatron and the black mirror matrix of hell and, and all the constructs that are from the dark, right? They all are so... See, the, it's not the natural, okay? The dark, the black mirror matrix from hell is not the natural organic earth life. So they built this grid around earth trying to control it. We're here to laugh it off, literally. Laugh it off. 
Okay, that's why you got people like Dave with his Dave with his the, the laugh in his voice and Jimmy, who's constantly funny. They had to le bring the la the laugh busters, the laugh busters here to get to because we had to break it from the inside frequency. This is what we tried to do. We can't do it with guns. We could we realized we couldn't do it with guns. We had to do it from the inside. So we took this huge chance of coming to this planet with no memory at all of what we were fucking doing here and trying to remember what we were doing and not get caught into the mind control and not get caught into the addictions and die and we're up against a lot to save this planet from who this cabal okay why 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 it's a religion they do a lot of wonky things one of them is the numbers numbers so 23 is a world number 23 is a world number take notes anything that happens on the 23 day affects the whole world why? anything that happens on the 23rd day 23 number 23 affects the whole world this is important we need to take notes of this. Because there's 23 genes from each pair of chromosomes from each parent. 23 pairs of genes from each parent. Okay, Kim Gogan gets into this. And I'm going to talk about her in my next video. To make a 46, 46. To make a human being. So they do So things. 23 times 2 is 46. And that's how you make. A human being. These are they are making human beings. He's giving away Anunnaki genetic secrets. This twenty three days to affect the whole world it takes one one parent each side. That's that's part of the religion. He's part of that crowd. Look at all the people that were down there in Antarctica to watch the eclipse, and you've got a pretty good indicator of who's in that club. <laughs> Who else was there? So I don't, I don't know if that answers the question. Yeah, it does. It does. That's interesting. Okay, I'm going to let you guys, excuse me, watch the rest of this on your own because I want to upload this. But um, it is, um, let's see if I can do this. Uh, Guano Savin, Guano Savin, shocking news. Two thousand. Sorry, February twenty fourth, twenty two. General Michael Flynn, but it's also about other things. So there's more to this, but I just want to get this one little section because I thought it was important to hear what he had to say about these little details. Because the devils in the details, we need to notice these little details. Sometimes you gotta see the little clues like that to get yourself out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? All right, love you.